You guys have done this. We've all done this. You pull up to a listing appointment, you're all confident, you're ready to head in there and crush the appointment, you go in, you have a flawless presentation, everything goes great, you get the listing. So now you're driving back to the office, you're listening to your favorite tunes, you're doing your new listing dance at the wheel, but then it hits you. You forgot to leave a blank copy of the disclosure statement with your new client. Instantly your mood takes a 180 degree turn, but you start to cheer up thinking about how your client might have access to a printer. Maybe you could just send them the PDF, they can print it, and everything will be just fine. You get sidetracked by this small glimmer of hope and you end up smacking a curb and causing damage to your vehicle. Sound familiar? Want to avoid this? In today's Agent Development Life Hack Edition, I'm going to show you how you can use Transaction Desk to send the disclosure statement to your client to fill out electronically. Coming right up. <laughs> All right, let's head right to the laptop and get into Transaction Desk. I'm inside of a transaction now, inside Transaction Desk. I'm gonna go down to where my seller's property disclosure statement is. I've already added all these forms to this transaction. Uh, down here where it says seller's property disclosure statement, we can either use this menu here and use the send tab, or we can click on the disclosure, go ahead and open it up. And then in here, we go up to the file tab down to send, click on email, and then of course it's gonna have us uh, select our seller's disclosure statement again, click okay. And in here we're gonna put the recipient's name, and then of course the recipient's email address, I'm just gonna use mine. Down here we have a subject line, I like to input the name of the form that we're gonna be filling out. So in this particular situation, it's the seller's disclosures. And then down here, you wanna write a custom message to your client. So what you're gonna to wanna to put in here is you're gonna to want to instruct them to complete all the fields. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you instruct them to hit save toward the end and then exit. And then also to reach out to you if they have any questions and to let you know when they are done filling out the form. So you just wanna make sure that you put all that information in here where it says message, you're gonna to wanna to send as a link, and then you're gonna to wanna to click allow editing forms, and then down here you can add an expiration date as to when the link will expire so they can no longer edit it. So now we're gonna press send, your job is done. Now let's head down to my email address because I did send it to myself so you guys can see what it looks like on your client's end. So of course they're gonna get this email, from you, it's going to invite them to click this link down here so that they can fill out this form. Here they can input and change the date. They can make changes to uh, all of the fields here. They can check all the boxes. You can fill out this entire form. And then of course, once they're done, we want them to go up to file, go down to save, and then click save. And then of course, file and exit. All right, so once your client is done filling out the form, they've saved their progress and they've exited, all you have to do is go down to whatever form you sent them. In this case, it's the seller's disclosures. Click on that. And then you will see all the changes that your client has made to the form. From there, all you have to do is go up and click sign. And this will send you right to AuthentiSign. And then you can send this back to your client for signatures. There you have it. It's as simple as that. Thank you guys for supporting agent development. I hope this short tutorial was helpful to you guys. Remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video to the channel. I will see you guys on the next one.